Pero no, 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 le pongo ahora. El derrumbe pero no, no, pero yo se lo puse al lado con las incidencias. No, no, pero el derrumbe no es imposible. Si está derrumbado. Porque tiene una puerta que no se puede entrar. No, está derrumbado. Está pero, derrumbado. Pero, pero, pero puedes entrar. No, ¿Quién, dijo que se, ¿Quién dijo que eso sea imposible? Y se pone como terreno batido. No, se pone como derrumbe. Está derrumbado, para impresionado. Buscando de No hay nada que te impida entrar. Ah, que tú estés cuidando tu vida para no, para que no te caiga arriba. No, ¿Cómo que le pones? Derrumbe, 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 Well, since the 80s, every Cuban house is fumigated once a week, or at least it's supposed to be fumigated. And I was very interested in this figure of the fumigator, of this professional who enters dozens of Cuban houses every day. I wanted to be him, to, or at least to be next to him. And in the beginning, I, I entered this universe to talk about the line dividing public and, and private in Cuba. I think it was a good sub, uh, way to explore that. But in the end, during the research, after I found the characters, I found a more interesting dynamic inside the fumigation district. So we followed Mayelin, the main character, and like the story is that her struggle to manage authority, because she's like in, in the middle of like a, a paramide. She has like a very demanding boss. She has to deal with lazy employees and also the population. So it became a story about the, the structure of, of power. Ahora me lo modelo. 